Hello, welcome to my second video of all time. Today what I wanted to go over is just a couple of items that I thought might have some potential uses in the upcoming DLC. First one we're going to be talking about is going to be the Amber Draft that you get from Celavis for his quest. This is going to be after you get the Magic Scorpion charm from him. After you give him the Amber Starlight Shard, he'll give you this upon reloading. So if you want to be a garbage person, you can give the draft to Rani, but I'm pretty sure all she does is get upset and or kill you. My thought is, since the original version of Celibus's potion has the three options between Gideon, Nefeli, and the Dung Eater for who to give it to, to move the quest forward, versus the Amber Draft only having the option of giving it to Rani, there might be possible uses, since there are probably other demigods in the DLC. The second item I wanted to go over is the Radiant Baldekin's Blessing. You get this item from Fia upon giving her the other half of the Hallow Brand of Death. The item description for the Radiant Baldekin's Blessing mentions the protection of a hidden temple in the guise of a bedchamber. This imagery kind of reminded me of in the DLC teaser, the sort of canopy covering that entire city. Reminds me almost of a canopy that one would put over like a royal's bed. So it might be interesting if this has some potential uses. The final item I wanted to go over is the Tonic of Forgetfulness. Tanith will give you this in Volcano Manor once Zarias has gone missing from her chambers in the guest hall. You can give this item to Raya or you can give this item to Brother Corin. Both options seem to have pretty negligible differences in their quests, so I think it would be interesting if this had some other potential options in the DLC since you are likely to get this item before facing Moog, which seems to be the unlock point. That's all I really wanted to go over in this video was just a couple of interesting things that I think it would be cool if they have any use cases in the upcoming DLC. If you can think of any other items that might have uses, put them in the comments. I'd definitely like to read other people's thoughts on the matter. Otherwise, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.